All right, everybody. So last week we received an email from Simply Safe stating, "Action required." I'll put it right here. You must uh, do this action to be able to stay connected to our Simply Safe monitoring center. Um, and then it stated down below, uh, "Go here to order your 4G uh, module." And the first thing we thought was, "Okay, this looks like a scam or something, like a phishing email." So we called Simply Safe, and they said, "Yes, this is what you do. Uh, please go back to the email and uh, click on the little blue symbol." So the blue symbol down here. Go through some steps, and you can order a free, brand new 4G cellular module for your base station. All right. So that's what we did. We just received it uh, in the mail, and it comes in a package, just like this. What I'll do is open the package and show you everything that's in it. We'll go through everything and then I'll go through the installation guide step by step and see how this goes. I haven't done it myself. We're gonna go through this together. So why would you wanna upgrade from 2G to 4G cellular network? The cool thing about these home base systems for, from Simply Safe is there's two communications paths back to their uh, communication center. Uh, one is via Wi-Fi, which everyone seems to have in their home these days. Uh, but if that connectivity is down, it switches over to the cellular network and it's still able to communicate. Uh, it's one of the reasons I purchased this system. It's pretty cool to have a couple of communications paths. Um, I have the Gen 3 uh, system, Generation 3. Um, I'll put a picture up here of both the original uh, system and the Gen 3 system. That way you could probably look at your system and go, okay, I have the original uh, system or I have a Gen 3. They're, they're uh, pretty distinctive in the difference of both the base unit and the keypad. So what's happened is 2G is going away and instead of having everyone go out and purchase brand new home bases with 4G cellular modules in them. Um, SimpliSafe has taken it upon themselves to go ahead and send the consumer all 4G modules, which I think is pretty cool. I know I'm a bit closer now. I wanted to show you what's in the package. So let's open this thing up. All right, here. There's the 4G module itself, and it looks like there's a SIM card piece in here. There's an installation guide, which I'm gonna go through the entire installation guide with you guys. There's an important information notice. It says you must install this 4G cellular module into your base station to assure that you stay protected and continue to receive emergency dispatch services. Basically, all right. So there's that. And here's a receipt that states, this is what you received. Uh, it has the part numbers in it and you got it for zero dollars. I don't want to show you the entire receipt because it has our address on it. So back to this package, let's go ahead and open it up see what's in there. It's got like an electrostatic um, packaging to it so you don't cause any shock hazard to the module itself because this is a computer mo module so let's see here. Ah, okay. A Verizon SIM card that's already been taken out. itself. Here's the module. Looks like it already has a the screw in here ready to go. And I believe when I do plug it in, it'll have to go in here, this little spot. And the instructions, they're on the front and back. So here's our steps one through six and on the back seven eight nine wait let's see 
what's this over here? Seven, eight, nine, so you see it all. And the first thing that it states here is go to your keypad and check for updates. So I'm gonna go to my keypad. It says to go to menu. Let's see here. Oh, it says, it, says, it already says systems updates are available. It takes about 12 minutes. So I'm gonna click okay. Applying base station update. Okay, this is supposed to take a while, so um, I'm not going to fast forward to, through this. I'm just going to cut and we'll restart when this is over. Installing base station. All right, it's at 97%, 98. It's applying the update now. Once it completes this update, the next thing I'll have to do is remove the Wi Fi network. All right, the update's complete. Click OK. Alarm off. Alarm's off. Next, I'll go in here and remove the Wi-Fi. So you uh, sign on, and then you go to System Settings, Wi-Fi. So let me go to System Settings, Wi-Fi, Edit. And it says Forget Network. So you want to click Forget Network. Now I have no networks. All right, now that's done. What I'm gonna do since I have time and this is a good opportunity, I'm gonna go ahead and um, replace my batteries and my keypad. Put some new ones in there because I can't remember the last time I put batteries in here. That's why I brought these. Let's see here. It doesn't take long. Bam. Okay. Now, over to the home base station. Now we're on uh, two, which is Disarm your system, then remove power, the power cable from the bottom of the base station. So this is what the bottom looks like. You just pull this out and this is a power plug. I'll set this right over here. Now it says unscrew battery compartment and remove batteries or a battery. So, so I have a couple of Phillips head screwdrivers. I have a, a small one for the base station and a very small one for the module itself. Stay. All right, so lefty loosey. Good thing my old Stanley is magnetic. And it a certain way. Ah, there we go. It comes right out. So here's the bottom. I'll just take this out and I'll put this back on. Now it wants you to step three is remove the base station cone and here's a little simply safe symbol. You just Click it to the left a little bit, or I'm sorry, <laughs> click it to the right a little bit, and then lift up. And that way, the module is facing you, basically. And here's the old second generation or 2G cellular mod module inside. And here's the screw where you'll be unscrewing it. That's... Uh, that's number four. Step number four. Again, lefty loosey. And I dropped it right into the base station. So let's see if I can get that screw out of there. 
No. Well, you know, unexpected things happen. So, let's see if I can get it over here and get it out. Okay, finally came out. Put it over here, out of the way. All right, now I'm supposed to unplug this. And it's not like connected in there by any like uh, crimps or anything. So it should just pull right out. Okay, it just pulled right out for me. It didn't take a lot of strength to pull that out. I'm keeping it in my hand because I'm going to put this in over here and plug it back in right back into here I'm gonna to try to because it's kind of awkward down here so I think you want to plug it in before you push it down in that little slot while I show you guys it's not that easy Here we go. All right, clicked in. Just make sure. Now I gotta press it down here. Come on, there we go. Just a little maneuverage. And you have to make sure that the screw over there makes it into where it's supposed to be screwed in. All right, so. Let's see. Got it over here. Let's see if it makes it in here. Yep. Here we go. Hopefully you can see that. All right. It's in. wireless module so that's step five and six seven replace the base station so again I'll face it toward me face the module toward me put the simple safe kind of uh, toward the camera here push it down turn to the right clicks should be good to go now I need to replace the battery To power it back on. Welcome to Simply Safe. Alarm off. Well, thank you. Thanks, Simply Safe. I'll tell you, these little screws are a pain, but I'm just not used to working with them. Secure the bottom. And I'm going to plug it back in. There you go. Just plug back in to power. And it says to confirm that your new module is working, just use a keypad. Uh, to activate in test mode. So I'm to go to menu, enter pin, um, and if you go down one, you're in test mode. So boom. Entering test. test mode. You may now begin testing each device by pressing its button. It says to press the bottom edge. Test each device. And then it says that we re should receive a call within five minutes. I just received an email saying that, a, that the test signal was received. That's pretty cool. So they received it at the command center. So that tells me that it works. Exiting test mode. So now I can exit. All right, now I need to set up my Wi-Fi. So I go to system settings, Wi-Fi says none. I need to edit that. Searching for networks. 
All right, for those of you with the Gen 3, it looks like uh, I did run into a little problem when I um, tried to have it search for my Wi-Fi. Um, so I had to call support. And I'll put the number, if you have any questions for Simply Safe. here's the number here. Uh, it's the same number I called. Um, it's an 888 number. And what they had me do is actually open up or unplug the unit, open it up and take the battery out and then close it, plug it back in. And then I searched for Wi-Fi and I found it. I'm not sure why that, uh, why I had to do that for my generation three, uh, home base, but I did. I'll go ahead and put this back in. Welcome to Simply Safe. Alarm off. And screw it back in here. And then I will be done. I want to thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, if you do like my videos, please click like and subscribe. I really appreciate you guys watching. Now she's plugged back in. She's good to go. I kind of like that it turns orange while it's updating. It's my favorite color. <laughs> so you ready? Let's go.